I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on linear equations. In this video, we are going to understand a very important formula where we are going to calculate the distance, the shortest distance from origin to the line. We'll actually adopt three different strategies to solve our question. I've taken a very simple question to illustrate all the three strategies. So focus is on shortest distance of a line from origin. The question here is, find the shortest distance of the line 4x minus 3y minus 12 equals to 0 from the origin. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. The line is shown here. That is the line which we are talking about. So this is the line, which is 4x, let me write it here, 4x minus 3y minus 12 equals to 0, right? So that's the equation of the line which you have drawn. You can always find the x and y intercepts and then draw this line. Now, let's talk about these strategies to find the shortest distance and the shortest distance really mean from the origin to this is this particular orange dotted line which is perpendicular to the given line is that clear to you right so that distance we'll call this distance as d or the distance from o to t this point so that is the distance which you need to find now let's talk about these strategies which we are going to use to find this particular distance. One of the strategies which is very common in grade 9 is you find the equation of perpendicular line passing through origin. So that means you find the equation of this line L. Then find the point of intersection. I uh, will label this as T. So then find this point of intersection between the perpendicular line and the given line. Then the distance O to T will be the shortest distance, right? So that will be your shortest distance. So that is what you could do. Well, at times to find this shortest distance, you may use a formula, uh, which is distance equals to square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square square root since you're going through the origin x2 and y2 can be considered as zeros correct so it'll be like a pythagorean theorem okay so that is our first strategy second strategy is to use the concept of area of triangle now that is a very very beautiful strategy we are going to see how do we use the concept of area of triangle to find the shortest distance O to T. Well, for some students in grade 10 and 11, they also know a formula to find this distance from origin to any line. And the formula for the shortest distance from origin to any line AX plus BY plus C can be given as absolute value of C over a square plus b square square root right remember distance is always positive now these are the three strategies which we can apply to find the shortest distance at this stage you can actually pause the video try these strategies and get your answer and then check with my solution perfect so let's start one by one look into the strategy one now it is a good idea to write this line 4x minus 3y minus 12 equals to 0 in the form 4x minus 3y equals to 12. now this form of the equation from the standard form given to you is helpful in finding x and y intercepts so once we have written in this form uh, we can also find the slope, rearrange and find slope, right? So we are using strategy number one. So basically, to find the perpendicular, we need to find slope of the line and the negative reciprocal is the slope of the perpendicular. So rearrange to write it in the form of 
y equals to mx plus b, right? So write in the form of y equals to mx plus b. So when you do that, you find that the slope m is equal to 4 over 3. This is for the line given to you. Now how about the perpendicular line? Well, for the perpendicular line, the slope will be negative reciprocal. So it is going to be minus 3 over 4. Now this particular line O to T is going through the origin, right? So it is equation will be y equals to minus 3 over 4x. So that is how we get equation of the perpendicular line. Now once we know the equation of the perpendicular line, we can find the point of intersection by substituting this value here for y and then solving for x. So that's what I've done. Minus 3 over 4x equals to 4 over 3x minus 4. Multiply all the terms with 12. Cross multiply is another way of saying the same thing. We get minus 9x equals to 16x minus 14. Solve for x. 25x is 48. x is 48 over 25. So we get the x value. Now find the y value. The y value will be minus 3 over 4x and substituting x as 48 over 25, we get the point y value is 36, 25. So the point T, which we are talking about, is what? So the point T for us is 48 over 25, 36 over 25, correct? So that is the point T. Now, we need to find the distance O to T. You can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this particular distance, right? So using Pythagorean theorem, let me write down here. We can say that this distance OT is 4825 square plus 36 over 25 square square root. And that gives you one over 25 square root of 3600 when you add them up and you get the answer 60 over 25 or 2.5 okay so we get our answer see this was the point t given to us we just applied the pythagorean theorem right so when we say 48 over 25 is the x value so this distance here is 48 over 25 and the y distance here is 36 over 25 we need to find the shortest distance O to T. So applying this Pythagorean theorem as shown here, we got our answer. Is that clear to you? So that is how you should be doing it. Now let's look into the second strategy, which we're saying is area of triangle concept, correct? So now, once we have this line, we will rearrange as done last time, 4x minus 3y equals to 12. This time, we'll first find the x-intercept. x-intercept is a point where y is equal to 0. If I substitute y equals to 0, I get the x-intercept as 3. So marked here is the x-intercept at 3. Similarly, find the y-intercept by substituting x equals to 0, and we get the y-intercept as minus 4, the point P. Now, what is the area of triangle POQ? The area of the triangle P of Q, this is a right angle, right? And therefore, will be half of OP times OQ, or half of 4 times 3, which is 6. So we get the area of this particular triangle as 6. Now, you can also find the area of the triangle using PQ as the base. This could be the base, right? And that could be the height. Then also you can find the area of this triangle. Since you know that the area is 6, and here you know the length PQ, 4 square plus 3 square square root, which is 5, you can find the shortest distance. You get the area. That is the strategy. So that's what, so simple, right? So we are using this strategy. We have calculated that area of the triangle is 6. And now we know, what is PQ? PQ is, using Pythagorean theorem, this side is 3, this side is 4. So this side will be 3 square plus 4 square square root. 
which is equal to 9 plus 16 or square root of 25 as you know 3 4 5 is a right angle triangle now once pq is found as 5 we can find the height o2t correct so the area of triangle opq will be half of pq times ot which is half of 5 times ot rearrange and find what ot is o2t which is the shortest distance for us is 6 times 2 over 5 or 12 over 5 which is equal to 2.4 so we got exactly the same answer with such a simple calculation you understand so with the help of finding area of the triangle we can always find the shortest distance which is the altitude correct now here is the formula which we're talking about strategy 3 right you remember we're talking about strategy 3 where a formula can be used which is the shortest distance is c divided by a square plus b square so this is when the equation is given to us as by uh, in the form of standard form which is ax plus by plus c equals to zero so c over a square plus b square in our case c is minus 12 but we need to take positive value always distance is positive so we'll take 12 here and a and b are 4 and 3 so 4 square plus 3 square square root when you square any number you get a positive number so 12 over 5 equals to 2.4 this is of course the shortest way of doing it provided you know the formula however when you go from strategy 2 to strategy 3 you can realize how we have derived the formula you get the idea so take a moment to link all these formulas together understand the concept since moving forward this is a very important concept it can help you solve some very difficult questions i hope you understand and appreciate how we solve this question of finding the shortest distance from origin to any line using three different strategies Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.